Thanks to a bit of luck, they happen to appear during a more stable time in Earth's history, at least when compared to the Gorgonopsids or the Machaerordinae, which along with their range, meant one thing. Diversification. Lots and lots of it. With at least three different subfamilies having developed over time. The Nimravinae, Hoplophoninae, and the Barbarophilinae, which actually at one point was considered an entirely separate saber-toothed group, but is now generally classed under the Nimravids. And across the three, you could find just about any kind of saber tooth imaginable. The teeth especially differed, coming in a variety of shapes and sizes depending on the species, with a few even growing saber teeth that were just about as long as their entire skulls. Interestingly, in these species of the mega canines, we also tended to see more cat-like traits, with many, like the Corosilaris, having an uncanny resemblance to the saber toothed cats. Hence why the Nimravids in general are known as the fall saber toothed cats. Who would have thunk? And they could be quite sizey like the latter too with the largest identified genus, the Barbarophilus, being capable of reaching 328 kilograms or 723 pounds, 